Happy Friday, Facebook group. Today's topic is guts. Do you have the guts to achieve career transformation in 2019? Let's talk about guts. What do we mean by guts? Some people refer to it as courage. Uh, and one of the things before I talk about this as a quality, this is definitely one of the qualities it's going to take to really blast through any career challenges that are, that are in your way. But what I want to talk about first is, or, or, or ask you a, a question, is that if you're watching this now, even if it's just the recording, raise your hand if you've ever been scared. Raise your hand if you've ever been fearful. Everyone, right? Everyone has experienced that. And if you can remember that experience where you were most scared in your life, where you were most fearful, if you can remember that, then you can also remember and acknowledge that you accessed courage in that moment. You had to, because you're still here, you're still standing. You're still doing it. You're still alive and doing it. So when I say, do you have the guts? The more nuanced way of asking that is, can you access your courage? Can you remember that there have been times, many, many times in your life that you have accessed courage? And you're going to need to do that again in order to blast through the career challenges that are in front of you. In order to get unstuck, in order to lift the weight that you feel that's on your shoulders, in order to really to fight through rejection if you're on the job market, to fight through, no, 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 we're going to give somebody else that promotion. If you're looking for recognition and more rewards at work, you're going to have to access courage and, and really have the guts to say, this is what I'm worth to your boss, to the hiring manager. You're going to have to say no more often if you want to work fewer hours. It's the way that it works, right? And so if you're not ready to do that, then you're not going to transform your career. You're not going to even come close to upgrading it. That's, it's plain and simple. But if you are, or at least where it usually starts is, yeah, I, I, yep, I have courage. I've accessed courage in the past. I've been courageous in the past. I can do this again. I am willing to do it. I'm committed to doing it, whatever it takes, because I have had enough. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of me showing up to work every day, working my ass off of not getting recognized for it. Enough of getting contacted by recruiters for some jobs that I was qualified for 10 years ago that I'm overqualified for now. Enough with working 80 hour weeks, 70 hour weeks, 60 hour weeks. Enough with all of that. Because I have a life outside of work. I deserve a life outside of work. Enough of all of this. Let's do this. I will do whatever it takes to get there. I have this goal. I have this dream. And I am going to pursue it. One way or another, I'm going to do it. If that's where you are, then absolutely you're in the right place. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say that most of you in this group that's where you are. You wouldn't have joined this group. You wouldn't be watching this video. If there wasn't something, maybe it's just an inkling. Maybe it's just a little spark right now. It's like, yeah, there, oh man, I really need to make a change. 
in the way that I approach my leadership, in the way that I approach my work, and the way that I approach my career, in the way that I approach my life. I need to make a change because I have had enough of all of the nonsense. And so if that's the case, you're in the right place. And make sure you're checking out the uh, Career Transformation Challenge. This is week two. We're in the systematized week. I posted a video of it uh, a couple days ago. Make sure you watch that video. If you're, if you're just watching this right now, you're like, what Career Transformation Challenge? Like, what New Year's Challenge? What are you talking about? Just go back and search for a Transformation Challenge, New Year's Challenge, and go back to week one. Um, week one was clarity, and then this week is systematized. And I walk, and I walk through it, and I, and I give you an overview of what all of this stuff is back here <laughs> in the career, the chart, the wonderful chart that I am in love with. I am in love with that chart that other people are in love with as well. <laughs> um, I, in the last video um, a couple, from, a couple of days, from a couple of days ago, I went through that. And then also last week I went through it as well. You're absolutely in the right place. So if you're doing the challenge, awesome, great. You're taking the steps. You're accessing courage to do that. Because most people, honestly, would look at what I'm asking you to do and say, ugh, it's not worth my time. Not worth my time. I don't want to do this. What, what, what is this? Click get clarity. Eh, I don't need clarity. I'm just going to keep moving forward, running the hamster wheel, running on the treadmill. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. That's cool. That's what most people do, by the way. But you're not most people because most people don't join a group called Achieving Career Transformation as a Tech Manager. Most people don't spend five minutes, 10 minutes, however long it is that you're spending right now today, listening to someone that they don't know talk about how to achieve career transformation. You're here, you're listening, you're interested, you're committed, perhaps you're even defiantly committed. So keep on that path and we're gonna do everything we can to help to support you to get there. And if that means booking a call with us because you're following the challenge and you're following me right now, but you're like, I don't know how, please help. I want that assistance. I need that accountability. I need the systems and the strategy, the proven systems and strategy. I don't want to waste any more time trying to figure it out by myself. I want to work with experts and I want to work with a group of people who are doing it right alongside of me and we're going to lift each other up and we're going to love each other and it's going to be super awesome and we are all going to climb that mountain of career transformation together. If that's what you want, then book a call with us and we'll, we'll help you thepeoplestack.com slash talk. The one other thing that I want to touch base on today is the, the theme of the week, which is systematize. You got to have the guts to bring the two together. You know, nice segue there, right? <laughs> Attempt at a segue anyway. <laughs> but honestly, seriously, you do need to have the guts to systematize. Because I think a lot of – one of the reasons why people skip the systematize piece of it because they want to get to the doing right they want to get to i want to ask for a raise they want to get to having that you know that conversation where where you negotiate and get the job like you just want to get it get it done and over with already because it's a scary process right you just want to fast forward through it so you don't have to feel scared so that you don't have to feel uncomfortable but guess what if you don't like discomfort, then you're not in the right place. Because in order to achieve what you want and really achieve those career goals and upgrade your career careers, work fewer hours, get that promotion, land that job, hell yes job, by the way, not just any settling job, you're going to have to do some stuff that stretches the boundaries of your comfort zone. And it's actually quite simple when you think about it. If you keep doing what you've been doing, what kind of results are you going to get? The same. In order to get a different result, you need to do something different that's outside of the boundaries of your comfort zone. Right? If you want the same result, just keep doing the same thing you've been doing. Right? We're not here to just talk about, oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. You know, just, 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 do, just do it. It's fine, you know. No. <laughs> We're here to talk about you got to do it differently because you want a different result because what you've been doing hasn't been working. And so if you haven't been systematizing and you're like, oh, no, 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 
I don't, I don't need to systematize. I'm already really super organized and I get it. I get what you mean by systematize. No, 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 no. I like chaos. I thrive on chaos. So I don't need to systematize. You know, I actually rather color outside the lines. Show me how to mess things up and then, you know, and then we'll get there. No, because that's what you've been doing up until this point. And how's that been working out for you? That's so great. That's why you're here. Because it hasn't been working. So the idea of building a system may not resonate, resonate with you. Maybe it does. Maybe you're like me and you totally geek out on it and it makes sure like your inner geek drool. Oh, I get to build a system and everything has to be all nice and organized in a chart with different colors and color coded. Oh my God, that's awesome. Let's do this. Cool. But if you're not like that, well, let me tell you this. If you're on the job market and you do not build a rock solid, proven, effective and efficient networking system, if you're on the job market and do not build a networking system, you are going to fail. Fail in that you're going to settle for a job that's not a hell yes job. Fail in the sense that you're not going to get any job offers whatsoever. Fail in the sense that maybe eventually you will get that hell yes job offer, but it's going to take so freaking long. You're going to get so burnt out by the time you get there. You're not going to get leads. If you do not have a networking system and you're on the job market, you're not going to get leads. You're not going to get interviews. You're not going to be able to negotiate for that hell yes job. If you want a promotion, if you're shooting for a promotion, internally, and you do not build a rock solid, proven, effective and efficient evangelizing system. So if you, if you are looking for a promotion and have not built an evangelizing system, you are going to fail because you are not going to gain the advocates that you need in order to demonstrate, not just to your boss, but also to your boss's boss and all the other key demonstrations, all the other key stakeholders here and decision makers here that you actually in fact do deserve that promotion. If you want to work fewer hours, if you do not build a rock solid, what kind of system do you need here? If you want to work fewer hours, the kind of system that you need here is a workflow system, otherwise known as a productivity system. If you do not have an effective and efficient workflow system, you're not going to end up working fewer hours. And you're just going to stay on that treadmill. Run in the treadmill. Run, 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 run. You're not really getting anywhere at the end of the day. Hop off the treadmill at the end of the day. You eat, you sleep, and they hop back on the treadmill again. Ad nauseum. Work, eat, sleep, repeat. Ad nauseum. If you do not have a solid workflow system. And in the video from a couple of days ago, I walk you through how to build a system. And keep it super simple. We follow the chaos principle here. Keep it simple, superhero. And I show you how to do that in the video from a couple of days ago, how to build those systems, or at least V1 of the system. And then in the coming weeks, we'll, I'll show you how to iterate and build um, better versions uh, from, from V1. So you gotta start there. And if you need help building these systems, and or you're like, you know, I've tried to build systems and it doesn't make sense, or I don't even know what you mean, Jen, in terms of building these systems. I, I mean, I kind of get it. It's really good high level. Like I understand I'm on the job market and I need to network. Everybody says this. Okay, I need to build a networking system. All right, cool, because that's going to get me leads. Oh, you mean like marketing leads. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. But uh, gosh, I'm not even sure. Like what do you, uh, I don't know. I'm just too caught up in making the decision to even go on the job market in this first place. I'm too caught up in deciding what kind of job that it is that I'm shooting for. I can't think straight about going on interviews. And oh my gosh, I have these few job offers in front of me right now. Do I take one? I'm not sure. Or maybe you want a promotion. Like, yeah, okay, I got yeah. Evangelize, evangelize your excellence. Cool, self-promotion, uh-huh. But I've tried it in the past and it just doesn't, I don't wanna, I can't do that. I'm a very humble person. I can't, I'm not comfortable promoting. Or when I've tried it in the past, it didn't feel good. I felt icky, like a slimy, greasy car salesman. Or I've tried it in the past and I came off robotic. I don't know how to self-promote. Like, how do I do that? Um, and I certainly don't want to burn any bridges in the process to either, right? Because my goal is to get a promotion, not get fired. And if you evangelize wrong and ineffectively, you may end, I mean, I may have end up getting fired, right? So you need help with that, book a call with us, thepeoplestack.com slash talk. You will end up talking with one of um, our team members. It will either, most likely it'll either be me 
yours truly, um, or uh, it'll be with my husband, Rob, who is the CTO of the People Stack um, and our head career strategist here. So book a call with us and we'll get super clear on what's not working in your career right now. And then we're also going to talk about where you want to go, what your goals are. And if we can help you get there, we're going to show you. We're going to, we're going to tell you how. If we can't, then what we're going to do is steer you toward other resources that are, going to, that are going to help you. So no matter what the outcome of the call, some people decide, you know, hey, this is cool. Maybe I, I want your help to implement this. What is that going to look like? And we talk about that. And if we determine that it's a fit to work together, we talk about all the details, how much, how long, all that fun stuff. And that's the outcome, and that's an awesome outcome. But a similarly awesome outcome is sometimes, oh, gosh, just think of an example that comes up a bunch. It's like, okay, I'm, I, I want this promotion. I'm not really sure. Do, do I want this promotion or not? You know, that's what's kind of blocking me. Like, I've been at the manager level for a while, um, I'm thinking maybe I might want to do go to a director level, be like a lead of leads, which is, ah, I don't know. And then we talk about it, you know, because that's the biggest thing that's not working for you in your career is you can't decide. And sometimes you know, people, you don't even realize that that's what's blocking you. I haven't decided. Oh, wow, yeah, I need to decide, don't I? And then that's the value that you get out of your call. And I give you a few exercises and a few um, tricks and challenges to challenge yourself so that you can make that decision. And that's the value that you get out of it. That's the clarity that you get out of the call. You know, that aha moment, that big distinction that moves you forward. Um, that's what we try to do on every single one of the calls. We've done hundreds of them, um, over 400 at this point. And for, for all of the calls, for everybody who, who shows up resourceful um, and, and ready to talk um, and, is, is not, and is not interrupted, um, sometimes people get interrupted by kids or things like that. <laughs> and then we, we do a follow up call. Um, as, as long as you're there and you show up, you're going to get clarity. You're going to get value out of that call. A hundred percent. I mean, we, we, there's not much that we can guarantee as career coaches, but because we've done so many of these and because it's a conversation that, you know, if you bring that to it, you ready and you show up ready to talk, um, and ready to listen and ready to be open to what we have to say it's pretty much a guarantee you're going to get at least some value and some clarity out of, out of that conversation. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Just book a call. Donpeoplestack.com slash talk. We are here to serve you. We are here to help. And we do these. They're free of charge. By the way, the reason that we do this is our mission is to help all tech managers in the United States, eventually in the world. We haven't expanded that far yet, but is to help every single tech manager in the United States to to upgrade their careers. We want to do that. We want to have that, that kind of impact and that scale of impact. So that's why we do it. We are committed to having these empowering yet uncomfortable career building conversations and asking the questions that no one else will, that no one else knows to, that no one else dares to. So be ready for some truth bombing questions, but that's what we're here to do. And so we do that because that's what we value here at the People Stack. We also talk because we know that some of you are going to want our help in transforming your career and walking the path toward that dream career. And so if that's the case, we'll help you. And then, and then you'll become a client. But every single person that, that ends up on one of these career strategy sessions, which is what you're, you're booking, what you're scheduling if you go to the peoplestack.com slash talk, every single person that ends up on that call is a client to us. Every single one, whether it's a paid client or not, you are a client. We are here to help you. We serve every single one of you. We serve the hell out of every single one of you. And we get paid for some of them. And that's what we do. So uh, that's the message of the day. Do you have the guts? Are you ready to access your guts and your courage in order to achieve career transformation in 2018? Um, and part of that is following the process and trusting that the process works. Which includes, system, which includes systematizing. So that's where we are this week. Next week, we're gonna talk about analyzing. It's a quick check-in. Or is what you're doing working or is it not? Because if it is, then we can move forward and we can double down. If it's not, then we gotta move backwards. Because if it's not working, guess what's gonna happen if you keep doing the same thing? 
you're going to dig yourself into a deeper hole and we don't want to see that for you. So we're going to talk about analyzing next week so you can do that check-in to see if what you, the efforts that you've been putting in to your job search to being on the promotion path to working fewer hours are actually working. Um, so with all that being said, have a wonderful um, rest of your Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you next week. Take care.